Hi, my name is Andy Wood. I'm Education Director for Audubon North Carolina, and I'm here to talk about the size of a bluebird. In North America, we have three different kinds of bluebirds, the eastern, western, and mountain. They're all members of the thrush family, which also includes the robin. Bluebirds are all, the, all three of them are about the same size, typically stretched bill tip to tail tip. They're about seven inches long, and they'll have a wingspan of about 14 inches. It, it varies within a half an inch. They weigh about an ounce, which is equivalent to a tablespoon of granulated sugar, in case you're curious what an ounce weighs. So they're very light bodied, and that's because they have hollow bones, they have air sacs in their body, and they're covered with feathers. So they look big, they look like they might weigh something, but they're very, very light because they want to fly, or they need to fly. Um, just as all birds that fly are very light bodied, comparatively speaking, when you see the, a, a, a big bird, you think it's very heavy, but actually it's very light. Um, so relative to other thrushes, bluebirds are fairly small. A robin is going to be almost half again larger than the bluebird. So um, for comparison, when you see a sparrow, uh, even around a city, that's about how big a, a bluebird is. Sparrows will be a little bit heavier. They are insect-eating birds, and they digest their food very quickly because they don't want to fly around with a lot of weight in their crop, the, one of the organs that helps digest their food or break down their food. And that's how big bluebirds are.